artificial intelligence is great. However, there is a flaw. It can only work off what we feed it. So if we feed it something racist and sexist, that's what comes out. Yay. So researchers have found um, that uh, AI programs do exhibit racial and gender biases. And mm -hmm. this is a little bit of an issue as we move more into data ethics and uh, using more AI to help us uh, with many things in daily life, such as speech recognition, which is where this all roots out of. Yeah, um, it's kind of like I'd imagine when you have a child <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you don't realize it's been listening to everything you've said, and one time it just like repeats something it thinks is super logical and makes sense, mm -hmm. and then you're like, "Oh my god, I've created a monster!" <laughs> like if, by, if you by if I, negligence, if I'm the dad and yes. I work all the time, and the kid just looks around and goes, "Daddies are never here," you're just like. Oh my God, that's what you think dads are. People who just don't come home. That's really sad. No, I presented that to you. I kind of had that thought as a little kid. Yeah, and that I did was, it's, Yeah, it's I do. okay. But he was I there for things some, to my say games. about those that I probably shouldn't reveal on air. Or my parents will both be mad at me. Holler. Um, so basically, uh, as we try to improve AI uh, recognition, there is already an AI machine learning tool called word embedding, which is transforming the way computers interpret speech uh, or text, so input and then voice. And you, what you would do is have this, um, certain words would be likely to follow certain other words or certain groupings would have certain other um, logical connections following that. Uh, and this would work for most of the time and this may be good in some ways. For instance, if you were talking about flowers, it might assume you're talking about something positive or pretty. Right, because you hear like enjoyable. pretty flower, uh, flower smells good, those words are near each other. So that those would be, um, it would be distilled into a series of numbers that is a word vector and that would be just the conclusion that would make the most sense. However, there are certain things uh, that are less innocuous than flowers that would uh, show some kind of bias in a negative way. For instance, one AI system was more likely to associate European American names with pleasant words such as gift or happy, while African American names were more commonly associated with unpleasant words. And then um, they showed biases where it was way 50% more likely for um, a CV with a European American name um, to get an interview than an African American name. Right, which is like, why are you scanning their names? In your inner, this reminds in, in, me of when Cal Penn, like his, he changed his stage name to Cal Penn, and he heard more um, from you know people book, trying to book him for jobs. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's this is a machine. So what are we kind of? So the idea is, if I understand it correctly, they build this system, mm -hmm. and they need they build it to learn, and then they feel like the more they expose it to, mm -hmm. the better because it will learn. In its vectoring system, it'll learn what um, most words are more associated with. What are we turning it loose on? Are we turning it loose on like the internet at large? Uh, therefore, then a it's going to be different super things. racist. Like, like I, what I said about the CV, this one was more for uh, sourcing job applicants. Right, but there has to be some like fundamental underpinning there. Why is it scanning names the same way it's scanning like vice president? And six years, mm -hmm. and Oxford, and whatever, like UCLA, USC, well, like all that stuff. Basically, there's this algorithm, and it can take the information we give it, but it doesn't have its own common sense or logic processing centers. It, it works off what we feed it, and then if we feed it biased data, or even non-biased data, biased. Uh, conclusions. You want to make sure that you're setting it loose on the right information. Mm -hmm. And why are you setting it loose at all? Like I, what it what it brings up is that these systems are not good at identifying context, and they need to be really good at it. And what's frustrating is there's a lot of these systems that are at that are loose on giant things that we use every day: Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, and they're. And they're failing right now. And it seems like the companies that are in charge have so much faith in their own invention 
that like there are people who are running YouTube pages now who are going broke because suddenly it blocked them for a bad oh, because the failure of a reason because the didn't algorithm doesn't understand properly doesn't understand there's the new york yeah. times today there's a story about david packman who's who um, suddenly they youtube got scared to put ads on anything that discusses say racial inequality mm -hmm. and in a story about racial inequality you could mention racism now in that or you could mention whites and blacks close together if you want to make it a vectoring thing. And so now the algorithm terrified backs off that the way it backs off a white supremacist video. Mm -hmm. Now we need to find a way to, if I'm a company, I don't want to advertise around the white supremacist video, but I mm -hmm. might want to um, advertise around a thoughtful, satirical discussion. discussion that uses the same words and it Blows my mind that at this point in 2017, YouTube can't figure that crap out. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pitfalls here, and a lot of people, innocent people, would suffer, like you said, with people's um, thoughtful, intelligent, provoke, provocative uh, discussions being lumped in with the same as a straight up hate speech video. Because um, at this point, a lot of machine learning lacks the ability to make its own uh, common sense decisions because. How do you teach that? Right. Uh, but it, it, a lot of innocents could suffer from this, including people who might not get a job interview mm -hmm. based on nothing more than their own name. Um, that and that a, happened a when people did program. it. Yeah, there it was a study where too. they took they took. Um, uh, there was a like they'll take a name like Jose as a first name and they'll change it to Joe, and Joe will get an interview with the same CV as Jose. And Jose won't because they just saw the name and they, you know, because of the vectoring that happens in those, you know, biased human minds, they will just be like, eh, I'm looking at this in a slightly I think different way. What it way. does is it holds up a mirror to our own inherent biases, even if they're not intended to be, um, you know, malignant or mm -hmm. anything like that. But this does show us that our there is inherent bias. In, um, in just the data we're inputting it, the data comes from us. So maybe that's something we need to work on outside of the machine or pre-machine rather than blaming it all on the machine. Right, and you have the normative and the positive and, and what this does is studies how things are and it has no guide for how it should be and it has no guide for how things came to be. So if you say like racially there's a disparity in achievement between two races, you're, the computer might just be like, oh, so this group is bad and this group is good or at stuff, mm -hmm. you know? And rather than say like, oh, how should it be? Let's fix the system so that there is no racial disparity. That makes that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. We should make it so that everybody has the same opportunities to go after whatever their goals are. But it it's it's just so frustrating and how much faith. And I think it's the hubris of these tech companies that say there's no way we could be wrong. We and they can, keep using this shit. Well, what we do see here is that uh, yes, AI can exhibit bias, but a lot of it is due to um, us being both imperfect as uh, people who process information and people who create programs to process information. And there's gotta be a better way to fix it. Is there a way to make machines more fair than us or are we just gonna screw it up no matter what? Please let us know what you think below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.